Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I want to uh, read something from John for you and I'm going to explain to you what God was telling me. I was literally like listening to it uh, in my whole, like through the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry I'm sick a little bit today, but let's get started. John, um, John 6, 22, I'm the bread of life. On the next day, the crowd that remained on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Other boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which is the Son of Man will give to you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do, that we may see and believe you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave the manna in the wilderness. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is what will of my Father, is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So the Jews grumbled about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, It's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How does he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And I will praise him. I will raise him up on the last day. It is written the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the men in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things in the synagogue as it taught at Capernaum. Let me tell you something now. 
and it is i was seeking like a month ago something like this god and i was like okay i'm literally was working from monday to sunday i had like two three jobs I had maybe one day off on this one day I was trying to work as well to pay everything off and I was exhausted I was like Jesus what is this the money is not coming in like every time I get the money I have just a little bit to spend for myself it goes all to the apartment I don't want to work like this I want to I was praying for a better job for a better opportunity I was keep praying keep praying and nothing came and I was so frustrated. I was like, well, I'm going to die in this restaurant probably. And my arm is in pain. And, you know, I was literally crying my job because my, my arm got really bad. And um, I remember one uh, time I was like cleaning or doing something at home. And I felt like God gave me the answer in my head. And he's like just whispering to me. He was saying, he was saying to me this verse, he reminded me of this verse that I just read to you. And it was John, um, John 6, 27. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which is the son of man will give to you. For on him, God the father has set his seal. He didn't say it. The, like this he 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 changed it a little bit for me in my head he said do not work for the food that perishes but for the food the, for, for me like he was saying literally to me like work for me don't stop working for for this world work for me Eva I'm like how am I supposed to work for you Jesus like I'm making this video I don't make any money I'm um what am I supposed to do for you I don't understand like please god like help me to understand and that that was all he gave me like and i'm like thinking about it. i'm like keep struggling with my job and everything and i'm like okay what do you want me to do and then i changed jobs and then yeah then i stopped working there also because my car broke down and it was like in my back of my mind I, inside I was freaking out but in the back of my mind I'm thinking like okay God do something and, and I felt like God is like everything is in control just trust me just trust me I'm like it can be under the control because I'm like I don't know how to pay my rental and then he's like reminding me work for me work for me you you want to you don't you want to keep working this world work for me Eva I'm like wow this is hard this is not easy so i was trusting in this process and now i'm telling you because i was working so much from monday to sunday i didn't give any space for god he made space for himself in my life it means i literally like i need to work two three days in a month to get the same amount of money that i made from monday to sunday working in this restaurant and I was like mind blown and I have so much time right now to make these videos and believe it or not if God tells you something to do and you don't do it he will find a way that you will stop working and listening to me you will stop doing what you're doing and you will have to sit there and think and, and pray and listen he will put you in the corner and say hello I'm here so he did that to me like he knew I would never quit this job in the restaurant so he decided to give me some pain in my arm so I had to stop working I had to look for an office job so he took me out of there then I started to work in the office but it was so far away drive so I was I had to rely on my car my my car broke down so of course then I had to stay home and what do I do when I'm home I'm praying I'm doing more videos for you guys. I'm doing stuff that I supposed to do in my house because I never had time. So God is working like this. If you don't listen, he will make a way that you listen. You will break your leg. You will break, I don't know what. So you stop yourself and everything is going to be the way God wants you to be. So trust the process. Trust God. Um, 
when he he say tight he when you promise i promised him to once i make more money i promised him to give this money um like to tie the money i'm not saying tie to church i'm saying tie to orphanages tie to people that need it more than me things like this to your neighbor whatever whoever needs it okay and he remembered this promise he reminded me of this promise he was like okay you don't have money but don't complain to me in my the back of the mind I, he reminded me over and over you forgot to tie this month i'm like i don't have money how i'm gonna tie it you still have money, so I don't care how you do it. You promise me. And I'm like, okay, here you go. On the next day, he gave me back this money. Like, it's crazy. That's how God works. God will take you word by word. Be careful what you pray for, first of all. Don't make wrong promises to God because he will come after those promises. Whatever you promise him, he will come after this promise. Um. Yeah. Things like this. Always be thankful and always uh, try to fast and pray when you don't hear God's word. Turn off your phone. Turn off fast from your phone, from the internet, from Instagram. Fast from social media. Fast from junk food, from everything. And believe it or not, uh, God is always watching you. Even if you don't feel like it. I don't feel like it always, but... God wants you to work for him, uh, not to work for the bread that the word gives you, but the bread that he gives you is the, the word of God, is the manna that we, what we Christians need to eat every day, every single day, no matter how. If you listen to a YouTube channel about the word of God or read it, yes, that's what you need to do. You guys, I'm kind of sick since a few days i hope i will get better and i'm sorry the mess i'm like cleaning up my closet because i have more time now to do the videos and everything so yeah that's what god is doing right now with me i don't know what he holds in front but i'm just trying to trust him it's still not easy i'm letting you know just completely trust god if it would be that easy i wouldn't be where i am i would be right away on the next day doing everything that God wants me to do. It's 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 a struggle. It's a battle every single day. Like God is telling you do this. You're like, no, I don't feel like God. God is telling you do this. You're like, how am I supposed to do it? Because you don't trust yourself, and you don't trust God that He will support you and guide you. And uh, and you're freaking out because of your past experience that come up in the situations. You know. So yeah, thanks so much you guys for watching. I pray for you guys that God will bless you and save you. I would love to make this channel like... Um, you guys, I have a bunch of dresses. I don't know um, if there's a Christian woman, maybe she needs dresses or she... I don't know which size she has, maybe size 6 or 4, like small size. I gained a little bit weight. I want to give it away. I want to make a package and send it to somebody. Uh, comment down below uh, because I want that this channel that we Christians support supposed to support each other like Jewish people do um, Jewish people are God's people as well and look at the system they support each other always no matter where they are what they do they always support each other and we should like do the same thing you know um, yeah we should donate to each other if we need something, support each other. Not just me, just everybody. Like, I want this community to, like, be supporting to each other, you know? Things like that. Like in a church, but just online. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Love you. Kisses. God bless you.